Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, this is going to be the vlog before the Blaine race. So, the Blaine race, it's on Thursday, and there's no real nerves yet. I mean, there's more excitement than there is nerves, purely because it's now one of my favourite races ever. Um, and I know I only did it once, I can't really compare it to anything else, but it's just one of those races where you fall in love with it. The minute you cross the line, I mean, the Great North Run, yeah, do I enjoy doing it? Of course I do, but do I love it? Probably not as much as the Blade and Race. Same with the Gateshead 10k. Love it, love the atmosphere, but I still enjoy the Blade and Race. It's purely because of the traditional aspects of it. It's stacked in tradition. It's a geek old race, if you want to mention it in the Geordie lingo. And I just, I love it. And I love the course, I love the atmosphere, I just love it. And I cannot wait to run it on Thursday. So I figured, since the last vlog, um, I'd update you on what's happened thus far. And to be honest, there's not a lot to update you on. There's been no injuries, there's been no setbacks, thankfully. Um, one or two minor setbacks, I wouldn't really call them major or even probably anything to affect the running, is I've had a couple of sessions where I was due to go out for an hour and I could only manage 40 minutes, which to me it's no big deal because it's, it's close to the time that I'd want to run anyways, and I'm out the door for more than 20 minutes, so it's nothing to worry about. I had a run that was supposed to be for 45 minutes, but it ended up being 30. That's purely because, A, because I ran out without any breakfast in my stomach, which wasn't a good idea, and B, because the weather was really, really poor. Like We're talking wind mixed with drizzle, mixed with heavy rain, mixed with just pure damp it's just typical northeast weather so i can't really complain too much but yeah i didn't want to be out in it too much i was tired and i was hungry and it was just miserable so i didn't really want to stay out too long but i've gone out for more than half an hour which i'm happy about in terms of the gym finally got on a platform so i can do like squats olympic lifts such as like uh, snatch lifting and cleans and hand cleans and single leg stuff everything's been going great um, so thanks to Exercise for Less for, you know, providing the platforms. They've, been, they've done it quite recently, so that's quite good. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting back into there after the Bladen race. I did a park run uh, on Saturday, which was just to clean out the cobwebs and just keep me ticking over nicely. Um, and you can see here, uh, Emma came along and did it. So, yeah, she enjoyed it. Sort of. Nah, she didn't really enjoy it. Not at all. But it was good to see her run, um, and she's still hurting from it, bless her. So I don't think we'll be seeing her doing a part run anytime soon. I am working on it, don't worry. In terms of after the Bladen race, I am going to have a couple of days off. You know, I might have a drink, a couple of pizzas. I might even have that beer they give you after the race. That was a nice beer last year. I really enjoyed that beer. Yeah, I'm not going to have too much of a break. I mean, it's only a 10k race. It's not so much a tough race to warrant a break like after a half marathon or a marathon where your body's just in bits, but it would just be nice to like have a couple of days where I can just recover a little bit and then go back into it on a Tuesday or a Thursday and try and train for the 10 mile race. That's coming up in August, I think, from uh, running sleep. So I'm looking forward to that. I want to try and get a couple more 10Ks in there. I've got my eye on the Durham 10K. I want to get down for the 5K in South Shields, which I've heard good things about. So I'm going to try and get done with that. In terms of kit, um, it's just going to be my South Shields club vest, the more my shorts, more my compression socks, and my ILS Boston boosts. I'll put a picture on my Instagram channel. So if you follow me on Instagram, I think everything's down here for you to click. I'll put something on there to show you my race. I'll even do a review after the Bladen race. I mean, I'm, I'm planning on vlogging during the day. I mean, not at work, obviously, but you know, in the morning, after work. Uh, when I get to Gateshead after the Bladen race, I'm not going to take my phone simply because I don't want any distractions. I want to be 100% up here and I think having a phone would just completely distract me altogether. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking forward now. I'm just edging closer and closer to Thursday and just getting out there and running on the 9th of June. If you're doing the Bladen race, put it in the comment section below. I want to know what you got planned for it, uh, what time you're going to do for it, if it's your first time. What you're expecting from it, anything. My question for you is, what are you expecting from the Bladen race? Are you expecting great weather? Don't get your hopes up. A fast time, um, cohesion, 
beating a friend, beating a family relative, anything in terms of Blade and Race, what, what are you hoping to achieve, what are you hoping to get out of it? Put in the comment section below and let me know. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family and anyone who is interested in running. Um, and I'll see you on Thursday. Well, not on Thursday. Well, if you're the Blade and Race, I'll see you on Thursday. I'll see you afterwards when I do the, the vlog thing. Yeah. Okay, so bye.